Tales from Little Glee Bakers, November 2020. Patchy had a bad foot, so we had to bring him in to rest it and give him medicine. And of course, we had to bring Howie in as well. Stables after Howie has made a right As we're going to be running short of normal wheat straw, we've decided to get bales of the job rape straw to see how that goes in the stables. have his bed all made for next time we need to bring him in. We've moved Ronnie in the old sheep we called Jane in with the Leicester Longwalls. And the three lambs, the Herdwick Longwall Crossers, are in the orchard. We just keep extending their little area with the new hurdles bit by bit. Sorting out and tidying up some of the sheds was on the agenda, so I finally had to get round to sorting out the orange electric fence. So with the shed empty and tidy, I moved the pallets so I could get the carrot tent into its winter quarters. Not fancy in pushing it on my own, I hooked it up the little lawnmower and it did a grand job of shifting. A little bit of manhandling it through the tricky areas. Struggling to get it in, I decided not to use manpower, but a bit of horsepower from the lawnmower. And a final shove, just to get it in position. Buoyed up by my success moving the carrot tent, I decided to have a go shifting the little trailer. We've decided to turn over a new allotment plot, so we're moving the trailer so the pigs can live in it, um, while they shift the soil and dig over the ground so I can plant potatoes there next year. Now it's time for the pre-winter worming and foot trimming of the sheep. So the long walls, Lucy, Lacey and Luna, the Shetland Ronnie and the crossbreed Jane are going to be first. We pop them into the little pen. And all went fairly well, but we forgot to film it. So, successfully done, the sheep get put back in their little paddock. A 
And next up is Reggie. His turn for worming and foot trimming. He dodged out last time, so we need to make sure we get him this time. Jane gets to pick, so I end up wrestling with Reggie while she does the worming. But it appears worming's a man's job and she doesn't quite get it right. Problem fixed, we move on to feet trimming. It appears foot trimming is also a man's job. Next up, the Herdwicks, and I use Mena to round them up, or, to be more honest, put them into a corner and then scatter them. Luckily, they were quite eager to follow the bucket, so in no time at all, we get them in the pen. Jane carefully resumes foot trimming duties, then as I go at sheep wrangling, while I take over foot trimming. Foot trimming and worming done, we take the two darker Herdwick ewes and we put them in with Reggie. Just the three lambs left for worming and foot trimming. Jane was keen to have a go at um, picking up the lamb and sitting on the grass so she could trim its feet. Um, um. Never want to be beaten. She has another go. Telling her a couple of inches makes all the difference. So, back to the new potato project. The trailer is in place, so now we need to put the fencing round it. After all the problems I had last year, I came up with a, a new and ingenious way of doing it, knocking some pegs in. Jane swears it's her idea. I'm fairly sure I thought of it.
knocking the Harris fences in with 12 inch 10 pegs, I suppose, marquee pegs. Um, they stayed up and the pigs didn't lift them out, so all good. Pigs quickly turn over the soil, um, so we put them back in the sty, and now I need to add some horse milk and then carpet it for the winter. The plan for ready to have um, his girls um, added to his little harem individually um, got changed, so we take um, the two black ewes and ready down to meet the rest of the herdwicks. So, Reggie is introduced to the remainder of the Herdwicks. The lambs now have access to the whole of the orchard and Jane wanted a shelter building for them, so I built a shelter. Ubiquitous pallets and wriggly tin have um, become quite a nifty little shelter for them. for Jane to take out the dahlias, clean them and dry them uh, so we can put them somewhere safe for next year and then the pigs can have the allotment. I hope you enjoyed our video, thanks for watching.